Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can enlist Git Bash in your Windows terminal. Okay. Now, before starting our main topic, let me introduce you to my another channel. The channel's name is Innovation with Ifim. I will uh, put the channel's link down below in this video's description box and make sure to check that out as I provide Bengali content in that channel regularly okay and yeah if you haven't subscribed to my new channel i mean this channel then please consider subscribing to my channel as uh, i have planned to publish english content regularly in this channel okay so first of all you have to ensure yourself that you are using the latest windows terminal okay so before starting our procedure let us open our windows store i mean microsoft store and from the search bar you need to search for terminal okay and we need to go to windows terminal after going into windows terminal yeah i can see that you all can see that i haven't signed in with my microsoft account yet now because i have just installed windows 11 in my this workstation and i haven't uh, signed into my microsoft account yet now but obviously i will do that just after finishing the recording okay so this is windows terminal if you haven't updated your terminal then you will see a button here saying updates or launch whatever simply click on here and if you have installed the latest version of windows terminal already then it would simply launch the terminal window but if you haven't then it would update itself and launch the terminal window okay we have to make sure that our terminal window has the latest version i mean latest update installed in it okay now you can see that i am currently using the powershell 7.2.1 if you haven't done that then you would get this powershell a uh, typical uh, windows powershell previously okay so we are not going to worry about that uh, let me close it for now okay let me open my browser and you need to search for git bash okay you have to download the git bash now obviously you can uh, follow me like this simply go to the official website and download the executable file for yourself and you can also do that by using package manager such as chocolatey or winget okay for now i am using the official download website so i'm simply heading over to download for windows and from here as i'm using a 64-bit operating system then i need to download this now keep in mind that for using windows terminal and including git bash to your terminal you should have the latest version of windows 10 or windows 11 okay now after finishing the download you will need to simply open the executable file let me close my brow uh, let me minimize my browser window okay so it won't distract us now simply click on next mm. I'm going to use the default directory so I'm simply clicking on next 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 and I prefer Visual Studio code as Git's default editor so I'm going to click on next 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 install okay so let the installation be finished first okay we have successfully finished our installation of git bash as you can see here i guess okay now we need to include this git bash into our windows terminal okay so for that let me open my windows terminal right here and click on here we will get this drop down menu and from here i need to or we need to click on settings okay now if I simply maximize the window, then I'm getting add a new profile here. Okay, simply click on that. And we don't need to duplicate any profile here because we will use the new empty profile. And from here, I should give it a name, right? So for that, uh, the name would be git, git bash. Okay, and we need to work on this settings as well. For the command line, let me click on browse and from here i need to go to the local disk c drive where i have installed my git bash and it would be program files and git folder 
from here bin i mean the binary folder and i need to select this bash.exe okay and i need to simply click on open that's it and now i need to place the original icon here so that i will simply click on browse and i will go to my c drive once again and from here i need to go to program files and from here git then i need to go to this folder minjw64 and from here i need to go to the share folder and here i need to go to git folder and i need to select this git for windows dot ico icon file and i need to simply click on open now if i simply save this and i will get git bash here if i simply click on this you see that i'm getting the git bash terminal right from here okay i'm currently not in any git repository so it's telling me this now you can see if i simply press on this drop down menu i am getting git bash at the end okay now if i want i can place it here here or here as well so let me show you how you can do that simply go to the settings click on open json file and i will always open the json file in my visual studio code obviously you can choose any other editor you want simply click on ok and my visual studio code has been opened as you can see here i guess and i trust this window okay now you can see that our git bash is right here at the end okay now suppose i want it appearing in the second step so i'm simply uh cutting this line from here and i need to place on the second step okay i need to add a comma here and i need to remove the trailing comma okay that should be it okay now if i simply click on the drop down menu we see that git bash is appearing in this second now if you want it to be appearing in the first section you can obviously do that how you can do that simply open the json file okay and after opening it you need to place the git bash from here to here okay i mean from the second position to the first position as you want as you see fit for yourself okay now let me show you something interesting if i simply try to check in which directory i am currently in using my git bash then let's see what it tells us okay so i am simply using pwt which indicates print working directory okay now if i simply hit on the enter key then you see that it's currently working on c windows system 32 but maybe i don't want that okay so i can change that how i can do that simply uh, go to settings and let me select my git bash profile and i need to check this starting directory so i'm simply unchecking this box because i don't want it to appear in parent process directory so i'm simply clicking on browse and you have to select that directory where you want the git bash uh, open by default i mean you need to select that directory where you want your git bash to open itself by default okay so maybe i want it to c drive users and my user directory okay so i'm simply going to select this sorry for that and then i'm going to simply click on select folder because i want this directory as my default working directory for my git bash okay so after selecting this i need to simply save this profile okay but let me close this again and let me reopen it and let's see what it tells us now so if i simply click on the git bash and if i simply print the working directory then you can see that i am currently in my that directory where i want it to be okay so that's it now i can simply head over to my desktop as i want or work on the process i like for myself so like this you can simply change your default working directory i mean whenever you open the git bash terminal which directory you want to open by itself or uh, which directory you want to 
be its default working directory okay so you can change that as you see fit for yourself so that's it for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you do please consider subscribing to my channel and give a like if you like this video share it with your friends and yeah as i have already told you earlier i have another channel brand channel where i publish bengali content regularly please make sure to check that out i will put all of the link in this video's description down below and if you want you can follow me in github linkedin twitter facebook instagram and i will put all of the links in this video's description box so thank you everyone i will see you in the next video